Proverbs chapter 28 verse 2 in the NLT when there is moral rot within a nation its government topless easily but wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability first and foremost I want to give all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. That's what you see going on. The wicked is ruling the earth right about now, so there's no morals. I mean, everything is just a free fall. I mean, you could be who you want to be. If you want to wake up and say you're a rat today, then, you, then you're a rat today. If you want to wake up and say that you're a chicken today, then you're a chicken. Anything, a goat, you want to wake up saying that you're a goat, you're a goat. A man want to wake up and say he's a woman, he's a woman. A woman want to wake up and say that she's a man, then she's a man. Look at how these people, wicked people are ruling the earth. We can't expect nothing different, different from a wicked nation. We expect these things, but then sometimes you say to yourself, damn, he, he really went that far with it. They, they really took it there, right? But we're seeing moral decay within this nation, man. And it's going to be just like these other ancient kingdoms. It was pretty much um, promoting debauchery, lewdness, wickedness. Had wicked people running it. Wicked people on authority. You see what happens every time the Lord brings them down. Only a righteous kingdom is going to remain forever. So this place, this, the morals been went out of this place. This place wasn't founded on morals anyway. But it did have some kind of standard when it came to certain things years ago. But now look and extrapolate through what I'm saying. Got transformers everywhere. I mean, this, this is this, your leaders. Your, your leaders are these people too. It ain't just the average citizen walking around. Your leaders are transformers, transmissions, peanut butter chasers. Just a bunch of degenerates. But what the scriptures say again? Proverbs twenty-eight and the end of scripture say, um, "An unwise king destroyed the people." An unwise king, and as the ruler of the people is, so is himself. You see? His officers are the same. We're going to see if we can get this flowing in the spirit. Just throwing this out here. I mean, everything is happening because of the leaders. You see? Your leaders are passing these laws. Your leaders, your leaders, not our leaders, but the leaders of the place that we live. Or passing these unrighteous decrees, these unrighteous laws. So you see the moral decay of this place, you know what I'm saying, going down fast, man. Just, it, it just The moral decay is like spreading, like a wildfire. That's why we preach repentance to the children of Israel. Because this place is going to burn soon. Come, We're going to get that Malachi, the fourth chapter, Lord willing. Proverbs 28-2 in NLT. When there is moral rot within a nation... Look at the morale in this place. It's rotting. It's decaying. You know, when something's rotting, like, like some bread or some fruit, what do you do? You get, or anything that's rotting. What do you do? You get rid of it. We think the Lord's getting ready to do. Get rid of it, man. You see? No standard, no, no standard according to the Bible being held. Right? Like the scriptures say, the wicked, you no know saying, is pride, doeth not seek after the most high. The Most High is not in all his thoughts, right? It's just, it's government, topless, easy. So what happened to the Greeks, right? So what happened to the Romans, right? All kind of lewdness outside, <laughs> inside, outside. The whole government was on some old debauchery. Liquor license. Orgies. You name it, man. Child pedo, all, all that man, moral decay. Yeah, ain't nobody really got nothing to say about it except for the prophets of the Lord. That's why the Lord says, Set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, right? 
So this whole government, this whole system, you know what I'm saying, is it, it, getting ready to get overthrown by your howl by shimmy howl shy. This, this place can't go on too much longer. You see it. And the scriptures say you, you join with them, you get thrust through with them. For you Israelites, they want to be joined to this system. It's crumbling as we speak. This whole system of debauchery is crumbling as we speak. And it's a good thing. You look back years ago, 20 years, 30 years, you would have never thought it would look like this. 20, 30 years later, you're like, what the hell is going on? You know that the wicked is ruling the earth. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. And that's what the Lord is going to set up. That's exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to set up. Wise and knowledgeable, because they're going to come according to the scriptures. Because it says the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of thy time. Let's get this right quick. Let's get this right quick. And Sleepy Joe, he's just a puppet. The people that are behind the scene, they're the ones that's really ruling the earth, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloomberg, Sleazy Ease, the Ease, man. They're, they're the ones that's really ruling the earth. This man's just a puppet. You see, he's just, he's just the face of it all. But he ain't really doing nothing, man. You see? And then this is the mind state of these people. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Let's just blow it up. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. And, and, and you got to think, Israel, the earth is being ran by a wicked nation, right? They're not going to pass righteous laws. They're not going to come up with righteous laws to help you out. Every law that they're going to pass is going to be about some wickedness. It's going to be about some lewdness. And the Lord said that the wickedness that we're seeing right about now, is, it's going to get worse. Run it out the other day in a lesson through the spirit. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. So, so an Israelite man and an Israelite woman is trying to live a righteous life. In a wicked society, you already know how that's going to look. You already know how that's going to look. You already know how that's going to feel. Because we're going through it right now. We, we can't even serve our power the right way in this wicked system. And, and then the thing about it, the men that are teaching the truth according to the Bible, they're looked at as the bad guys. Ain't, ain't that some? Not the wicked rulers that are passing these wicked laws that are pretty much destroying the earth. They're, they're pretty much um, painted as the perfection of beauty, as the saviors of the whole planet. When the righteous are in authority, everybody rejoices. But when the wicked rule, everybody more animals, trees. And everything is being used for something wicked. Everything is being messed with. You see? I mean, you, you, you see what this devil's doing, man? They're pretty much making everybody test subjects. You see, but the Lord's going to set one over the earth that's going to profit the earth real soon, right? Let's get, I want, I want to get, um, let's see. Let's get second as the 15th chapter. Just something quick through the spirit. This place is morally rotten, man, to the core. This second as the 15. I want to jump down. Is the second as the 15th chapter? Yeah, this is um, verse 6. For wickedness, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 6, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The whole earth. Because the earth is being handed to the wicked. It's being ran by a wicked nation. Sleaze the E, the E's. And the hurtful works are fulfilled. That democracy, those different philosophies, it, it went from Babylon throughout the four corners of the earth. And the only way these other nations can get any funding or any help. They got to get down with the get down. And you know what we're talking about. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. But then the majority of people don't see it as wicked. They don't see what these people promoting. And if they do, you know what I'm saying, they're never going to say anything about it. 
They're just going to go along to get along. But the scriptures say the men of the Lord are never going to hold their peace day nor night. You see, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Everything that they promoting don't have nothing to do with the Bible. Nothing at all. All right? In which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. We complain unto the Lord, because who else can we complain to? No one else is going to hear our cry. So we cry unto Yahweh by Shemia Washai. And we pray to the Lord to bring it down, bring the whole system. Edomite supremacy, bring it all down. And the Lord is doing just that. He's doing just that systematically. It's going down. I mean, anytime you got to, I mean, we got to most definitely speak with wisdom. But it's like if you got sons and daughters, you got to take them out to schools now. You know what I'm saying? You got transformers trying to teach your sons and your daughters, you know what I'm saying, to love them. These transmissions, man. These peanut butter chasers. Going right back to the first scripture that I brought out that Proverbs 28 and 2 in the, in the NLT. The morals have decayed, man. Why? Because the wicked is ruling the earth. And we ain't got nobody else to complain to, so we complain to our power, man. It's most definitely hearing us. But I want to just urge you, just a quick little lesson. It's going to continue to be like this as long as the wicked is ruling the earth, Israel. You're going to be constantly catching hell. And, and, and what did Lot say? Lot said he was vexed. He was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You see? He had to look, he had to look and see what they was doing, man. He had to hear him and see him. We just gotta endure it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna be around too much longer, yo. Lord's eventually gonna make a move on this place. Sirach so chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. We read that, you know what I'm saying? Proverbs 28 and 3 in the NLT. Well, well it, was, it was verse 2 at the bottom of verse 2. A wise judge will instruct his people. Not not corrupt judges, not corrupt leaders. They, they, and plus, they don't care if this place, the moral of this place, the morality of this place rots to the core. They don't care how much wickedness they promote or push. They're pretty much saying either get down or lay down. You see? You become a, a, um, a defender of the word. You become a prey pretty much. When you defend the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you looked at as the bad guy. Remember, they hate him, they rebuke him in the gate, and they speak it, and they uphold him, they speak it uprightly. Would it say, as the judge of the people himself, so are his officers. So if the people that's ruling the earth is corrupt, how much more are the people that work for him? And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So these people are just following after their rulers, after their leaders, just like in Rome, just like in, the, in Greece. Same thing, man. And Babylon has no shit, man. This place has topped all their wickedness. Babylon, the great America, has topped all these other kingdoms' wickedness, man. An unwise king, verse 3. An unwise king destroyed his people. Look at, look at these people. When you go outside, look at them. You can't even turn on the TV without seeing some debauchery. You can't even watch a cartoon with your son or your daughter without seeing some debauchery, man. And the unwise king destroyed his people. Just, just let them get away with anything. I mean, shit, whatever happened to... um. Like the dress moral code. The word escapes me right about now. But it was like a couple of years ago, you know, so it was like certain things you couldn't wear outside. The, the name escapes me right about now. Brothers probably can put it in the comment boards, but I can't I can't remember right about now. But you couldn't come outside dress years ago like you can come outside dress now. It's just crazy now. 
These people, you know what I'm saying, these people really basically, you know what I'm saying, resorted back to an animalistic way of being. Really. They're not even walking around like humans anymore. They're walking around like animals. You see? But that's what happens. The scriptures say they that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. An unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence, meaning the wisdom of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. It says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And we know right about now the earth is being ran by the wicked. And in due time, but in due time, he was set over it one that is profitable. So pretty much everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything known to mankind is waiting for the children of Israel to get back into power. They're waiting for the righteous to get back into power. Righteousness will be established on the face of the earth. Once again, it, it don't look like it to a natural man. But to a spiritual man, you can see what the Lord is doing. He, he's bringing his place down. And you, you can believe that. And that's our faith. We see it. So you wonder why everything is going on? Because we got wicked rulers ruling the earth. But in due time, Israel, the Lord will set one over it that is profitable to the earth. And everything is going to rejoice. Everything, especially the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, Native American Indians, we're going to rejoice. I just, I just wanted to just bring something. I was just sitting back just thinking. How like all this lewdness we see each and every day. It's like wickedness. Our sons and our daughters got to see nothing but wickedness. And they ask us certain questions. We like, it's... one thing we can say is it's all a part of the Lord's movie. And we teach them how to be wise among these animals. Among these animals. I'd rather be around the natural animals of the wild than these other animals, a.k.a. these people. They're worse than animals, man. But the Lord got something. Now, I, I want to bring out one more before I go. Just want to bring out one. You, you're down with the wicked. You're going to burn with them, Israel. The Lord said, knowing all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are we to be? And Sleazy he got all these puppet leaders, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he got his hand in their pocket, man. So, of course, don't expect none of these Israelites, you know what I'm saying, to, to really preach the truth. Most definitely these church pastors. These Israelite groups that got these 501c3 charters don't really expect them to teach the truth according to the Bible. And most definitely these church leaders, you most definitely don't expect them to teach nothing profitable to you from the Bible. Because these church pastors pretty much are compromised and they, they have accepted everything, man. Everything that, that sleazy has threw at him. But let's get this though. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So you have it your way. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the Lord of armies. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, that's what it's about, fearing the name of the Lord. You see all this wickedness going on? Don't get involved with it. Use the world, and, the, and my watch chimed in. Use the world, but don't abuse it. Fear Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they really call God and Jesus. But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness, Lord Yahweh shall arise with healing in his wings, meaning the chariots. The chariots are going to pull up soon. Come, man. And start zapping you wicked people, man. And you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. I just want to bring out the, the moral decay of this place. Why? Because the earth is being ran by the wicked. But eventually, the Lord going to take them down. Lord, one of the electors edified the moral decay of a society. Shalom.